Hey yo, salute to the people. It's the social forecast. Back again with another video. Um, so I'm doing a multi-platform uh, live session right now with Jasmine from the Comfort Zone and Key from Chilling with Key. We about to get into the Soldier Boy uh, situation. Um, I got them on the line right now. So, um, yeah, I thought I would record it so I could get it on my uh, platform. Um, a little bit different than the usual. I'm just gonna be audio on their side. The game, the games last night, some bullshit. Hey, yo, that Patriots game was crazy. I was watching that shit at work. That shit was that shit was crazy. Don't nobody want to talk about shit next. Hey yo, <laughs> let's get this thing popping. All right, so I'm about to, I'm about to turn this water on right quick. Mucho frío. We don't even be saving this shit no more. All right, this is Jazz back with the comfort zone, back for another video. Got my two bros up here. <laughs> yo, why you do that, yo? <laughs> That's my signature. That is my signature. <laughs> yo. I got my two bros up here. Uh, introduce themselves. We're back here. We're back with, with another round table discussion. It's about the soldier boy, Drake. Big Drake, oh. <laughs> Hey yo, salute to the people. It's Kev from the Social Forecast. I apologize, I sound crazy. I'm a little bit under the weather, but we gonna make it happen. We gonna make it happen. Man, this is your boy Keith. Follow me, subscribe, YouTube, chill with King, Facebook, right. Marquee Brown, Instagram, Keith. This man, you already know. Facts, Dad. All right, so let me say we we recorded a video a couple of days ago. Uh, about this soldier boy thing, but it ain't gonna work out. Big Drake go. We, so we out here doing this one more time for the people. One more time for the culture, the nigga. Culture. Yeah. Right, culture. So. The reason why we doing this. I'm kind of glad we doing it again, actually, because I heard some more shit after. Like I was listening to um, Charlemagne the guy got a podcast called The Brilliant Idiots, and they yo they was doing some sound bites. Yo, this nigga Drake might have a point, bro. Drake was stealing mad shit. Mad shit. They was playing like they were playing like whole song intros. This nigga was taking like everything. I'm like, damn. I didn't realize it was that because nobody takes Soldier Boy seriously. I feel like, but he might have a point. He might have a point to some of the shit he be saying. <laughs> I watch. I just watched the uh, uh, YouTube clip of uh, Ti and Tiny talking about it and shit. What they were saying? Yeah, he, he, got, he got a lot of few points, but... A lot of few. <laughs> the aggression that he's coming with. And I guess, I guess at the end of the day, if he didn't come with that aggression, people probably wouldn't hear what they he They wouldn't pay attention. But that's for clout, though. In 2019, that's what they'd be doing. That extra yeah. shit. Yeah, but this... So you feel like if he approached it more calm, it would have been a different thing? You feel like it would have gotten his point across better? His point would have got it. People wouldn't be making memes about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I guess it's all about the clout. Like you said, it's all about the clout. He's trying to get clout, which is good. But I, I don't know. He, he be passionate about his shit. Did y'all fuck with Soldier Boy when he was actually kind of halfway popping? Yeah, I fuck with uh, Soldier Boy. I fuck with him. What about you, Key? <laughs> Man, listen, I told you, I told you, Big Soldier is the reason why we recording this right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nah. Yeah, they, yeah, they was clowning him, yo. They said, they said he's responsible for FaceTime because he had the song Kiss Me Through the Phone. <laughs> yo. Oh, <laughs> they was clowning him. Yeah. I don't know if he's responsible for FaceTime. Nah, they was joking, but they was, they was clowning him. And they said exactly they... Responsible for uh, social media, social media hype. But look, do y'all think? I, I'm, this is a little off. It ain't off topic, but do y'all think Soldier Boy getting? I, I feel like Soldier Boy stole, stole the 
what is the guy I want to say? He stole. He he stole the the. Uh, Damn, he stole all the uh, shine off of what? the R. Kelly shit. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? That's kind of that's kind of a fact. Yeah, he, he took a lot of uh, attention off of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, he definitely like, did. That's kind of a fact. Yeah, because nobody talking about that shit no more. It's crazy how that shit worked. Uh, it's crazy how that shit worked. Mm. Let's see that. Let's see. You know what's funny? It's crazy we even brought this shit back up. My mom was literally in there watching the Leah movie. <laughs> yo. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that just goes to show you, yo. Like, we, this society really ain't about shit. Like, this nigga over here allegedly raping little girls. <laughs> <laughs> they asking this nigga, yo, yo. I just want to know how you not guilty if nigga if 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 somebody ask you in an interview, do you like teenage girls? And he say by teenage girls, what you mean? <laughs> when you say teenager, what you mean? What? Yo, I understood what he was saying, but it sounded crazy. I understood. Understand teenagers, teenage for anywhere from thirteen to nineteen. But he was basically saying, if if she's saying, 19, she's legal. If she's 18, she's legal. That's what he was trying to say. I get it. But it still sounded crazy. It depends what state you went. Yeah, depending on the state. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what the law considers. Like, you know right from wrong, bro. You got daughters out here like that age or older, like. So you that, that I don't question 18, 19, because that is legal. But under that, I do question it. Well, you say, I said I don't really question under I don't really question nineteen eighteen, but I do question under it if it's not legal. I do. How, how old are you? I'm twenty eight. <laughs> okay, you twenty eight. So you mean to tell me that if 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 you ain't coming across a bad nineteen year old, you wouldn't try to push that? Not nineteen. Nah. It's not crazy though. Why? Like why? Like like why not? Like why not? Crazy. It's not crazy. I know a lot of niggas that do. Like you know what I mean. But just me personally, nah. Because see, because this is my thing, right? Women have not even mature. Women have no, women mature faster. Yeah, and that's why women have always been interested in older men, and older men have always liked younger women. But here's what's funny, right? You could meet somebody who's married, and they could one the the woman could be. 30 the guy could be 45 we don't look at it crazy it's about where that age falls but if she 19 20 then it looks crazy like that's kind of a a, a contradiction a little bit and then but, but then if we talk about r kelly he wasn't messing with no 19 year old he's allegedly to be messing with like 14 and 15 yeah well that's what yeah that's that's why it sounded crazy i only said that because when he asked him do you like teenage girls yeah he said what you what you talking if you if you talk about teenage right. girls? Nigga, at the end of nah, I don't I don't care if you're a grown man. He, he wasn't twenty eight during that interview, like. Yeah, that was yeah, that, yeah. He was like, he was like twenty seven, twenty eight. That was way back. That was an original interview from like back in the day. That okay, wasn't twenty eight in that interview. That wasn't a newer yeah. That wasn't a newer interview. That was a play throwback from back in the day. Because remember, they saying he was, they saying he was twenty six when he married Aaliyah, which that was crazy. But I mean, uh, it's still a little crazy because you, it's crazy because we know he was messing with younger chicks, right? But a, a regular, if if you ask a regular dude, do he like eighteen, nineteen year olds? I don't think that that's far too far fetched because, right? At the end of the day, most men do like dating younger women. Right. Right. And think about it. Most couples you meet, the guy is usually considerably older, because that's what women are into. They are into men who are older, who are a little more mature, a little more settled. All right, back to this uh, Draco shit. Back to this damn Gucci head. So we did this before, but did did Draco have the biggest comeback in twenty eighteen? No. Who did? Yup. Yo, he yo for real. You going with? That's what you going with? That's what you going with? Nah, hell no, he didn't. We ain't gonna sit up here and front. So if he didn't, who did? Meek Mill. He can't call it a comeback. So what are we gonna call it? I still can't say you can call a Meek Mill comeback a comeback. <laughs> you got because you got to go away and fall off to have a comeback. Meek Mill didn't really fall off. I mean, he had the Drake issue. 
right? But he still had an album after that that did relatively well. And then, he went to then he went to jail for a few months. Then he dropped another album. Soldier Boy been gone for years. But he dropped like the music. He dropped a song that is somewhat hot. And I'm not arguing that he had the biggest comeback. I'm just saying comeback got to be where has this nigga been and oh shit they back. So who gave us that feel? Always. Okay. That's a fact. That's a fact. But did his comeback did his comeback live up to expectation though? No. Why? Because I don't think that's that. I think that's that. I think it's only because for the car to buy. I'm sorry, y'all. I just felt like I walked out to a last room. It's cold as hell. All right. This nigga, would you just move from one garage to the next? <laughs> he got the bag. Now, man, oh, man. Oh, come on. Double box. What type of set it off scene is this? I'm doing a video, live video. Who that? My mom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted to be on. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Yo, look at my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, what you doing? Look at daddy. <laughs> Where you, oh, yeah, your pops right there. All right, right. Oh, they not Nobody beat. Be the they okay. not beat. Uh, all right. Sorry about the interruption. That ain't my special. So, yeah. So if we can't, uh, Meek Mills is qualified. So who had the biggest comeback? Lil Wayne. But you said that he didn't. It wasn't. It didn't live up to expectations. Yeah, but it's still the biggest comeback. Just because they leave up to expectations, I don't think... Matter of fact, it might have been, because he, he did some crazy numbers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It might have been. It didn't live it up to expectations. Like, as, as far as us. Music, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number-wise, <laughs> I think he had the biggest comeback. Mm. Yeah, I think he had the biggest comeback. Mm. Mm. So, what you think, Yeah. Uh... Do we need to put more respect on Dra- on Draco? Big Draco's name. Big Draco! I, I can't give it to Big Draco if we talking just musically. If you want to talk like the clout and mean thing, yeah. Uh, we do need to put more respect on his name. Maybe that's what he means, though, too. Because you said he into the attention and shit. Maybe, maybe him causing all that noise on social media, maybe that's his point. Because he basically saying he... he he he's the reason that social media shit took off. Maybe that was his but angle. We, but it's fuck social media. We talking about music though. But maybe when he say the biggest comeback, maybe he's incorporating all that shit. But but he also did you hear the part when he said he felt like he put all these niggas on? He should get mm. opposite. Yeah, he said he put Migos on. He said he put mad people on. Well, he he didn't put it. nobody on because they fuck with your couch. He said he discovered he Migos a, uh, and all this other he shit. He did a live, uh, Instagram live with uh, Chief. And Chief was talking about making music with him. It was no beef like, yo, what you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't none of that. So maybe he is speaking a he lot said, of truth to what he said. He. And he said he, he, said he, he discovered him. He did. He did say that. He said he was and the I first one. That, to... I didn't hear Chief Keith deny it. And he he also said he um wanted to do music with the Migos too. Yep. I don't know. I'm just saying behind the scenes we never know what's going on. It could be a lot of truth to what he's saying. Could be. It's just the clout chasing that he goes. Because the music does sound similar. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he 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 made that bubblegum ringtone style rap popular. And how is it much different now than mumble rap? 
it's not much well, different. I would say Chief Keith and like all the Chicago niggas, like that do drill. That drill shit, yeah. Yeah, the drill is definitely different from what That's like was. trap, like uh, trap, yeah, but to was, a different extent, Chief yeah. Keith was more with some. He, I think he started that, or not started it, but he made that big. I would say he started the whole the era f- with your music, like, as far as like making actual dance, like the crank. Who, Soldier Boy? Yeah. Nah, but I mean, Chief Keef, I think he made the drill big. Like, he brought yeah, the attention to it. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> that nigga said, Tiger, the nigga who let Travis Scott, not even. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that nigga's crazy as hell. He was disrespectful. Like, he was disrespectful with how he came. Like, he didn't have to do all that. But I mean, at the same time, though, how is it any different than what a Takashi Six Nine does or a fucking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Takashi stole all that that from him. But I'm saying though, he, I feel like he was beefing with everybody in the game first, though. He was Snoop had Snoop was saying some shit. Everybody, mad people were saying shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, but that's what I'm saying. So if he's got that blueprint to go off of, how can we really fault him for being extra? If that's what he's seen make people successful. And really get them he the attention. Can, but he can, he can. Cause six nine would not be successful if it wasn't for. That, you can't, you can't do that. Yeah. You can't say somebody stole it from you when niggas was doing it before you. So if we go back, right? <clears throat> Fifty had shit on lock back then, right? So he did transition from that whole gangster music field to the ringtone era. He did transition that. So he he might be a legend out here in these streets, yo. He might be. If we credit Wayne with changing the whole sound of the industry and being a, like the the influence for a lot of the people that came up after Wayne, then we got to give Soldier Boy the same thing. Cause Fifty and G Unit had it on lock back then, and then here comes Soldier Boy with all that, that all that extra shit, and they was eating that shit up. He had the biggest comeback. He said he signed a record deal. He did four new TV shows and signed an endorsement deal with Fashion Nova and released his own smartwatch and a game console. Niggas thought he was it was over for me after all that beef shit. <clears throat> Never count a real one out. I'm up 20 M's. So if he talking in terms of just all around everything, then maybe he did who's as busy as he's been? But that's what I'm saying. Are we talking just numbers? That's what I'm saying. Because I think he's talking everything. He can't just be he talking. Can't talk he can't music. be talking. He can only talk numbers right now. But he can't even. Talk but not numbers. just numbers, though. He's talking. Look, I came back with businesses. I'm relevant again. I got this. I got that. Yeah. Numbers, though, because my thing is, just because you made these deals, that don't mean they're going to. It don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard his console was selling out, though. That's what I heard. That's what I'm hearing. They what? took the whole shit down, though, because he was going through legal shit with. Uh, Oh, they was coming after him for uh, licensing and shit? Yeah. Damn. He probably was selling out, but all of, everybody do that shit. I knew underground artists do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out, and everybody do the yeah, yeah, yeah. The novelty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit for fucking Jay-Z come out. Everybody go get that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, your fans is your fans. That's right. The that, real fans is not going to change regardless of what you go through. But that's kind of yeah. part of, I think, part so, of the point, the right? But that might be kind of part of people's point too. You can't. Everybody don't just keep their fans like that for that many. You know what I'm saying? Like for him to keep that the, that core following, it, it, people might be seeing shit that we the rest of us don't see. He ain't the only one. He's not the only one. But everybody can't go away, come back years later, and all their fans still be. What happened? <laughs> Who? I said everybody can't. That's Hove, though. You naming the top echelon of people. Exactly. Everybody can't do that. Because look who we just said. We said a Jay Z, and then we said Soldier Boy. Everybody can't do that, though. Yeah, they're not the same brand. You see what I'm saying? So if he could he do it, never have a comeback because he never left. Yeah. So if Soldier Boy can keep his fans so that long, we, we can. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga was gone. Like, nowhere. Nigga was in purgatory. Listen, I don't think he came back. Let me tell you something. 
because he's everywhere right now. He's everywhere right now. But yeah, look, he is. But look, he's only everywhere because he put himself out there. That, that's the new But way. people got to pay attention. This is the way. But let me tell you something. If he didn't, if that Gucci headband ain't hit <clears> social media, I would never know nothing about no console. I would never know nothing about no soldier yes, boy. You would. Yes, no, you I would. wouldn't. Yes, no, you would. Fuck, I wouldn't. No, you I wouldn't. Yes, you would, because he is still talking about it. Nigga, still console, about it. Listen, that console was out before he got he went on these interviews. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. How was he showing two hundred and fifty million dollars of of bills and shit? How was he showing that? He wasn't doing it like he didn't. You didn't hear about the console until he started. You going crazy? On the His interview. first interview was with the Breakfast Club, and you heard about it on here. No, I didn't. I heard about it before. The first one, the first video was uh, Everyday Struggle. Then he went. Then he went on the Breakfast Club. You heard about what the console? Nah, it was just through through social media. Like, yeah, I heard about the I heard about the console, but it was just yeah, because they had they had reviews on YouTube and shit about it. Yeah, it was like the memes that was popping. It just people wasn't checking for it until those interviews hit. I, mean, I found out about it because I found out before interviews and stuff came out. I seen them. Uh, I'm, I'm on YouTube a lot, so I watch a Facts. lot of different videos. And it was a video. He, he uh actually gave it to one of his uh producers or something for his birthday. And he was like, "Oh, he got the Soulja Boy console, you know." This and I'm like, "What?" So then I did my research. I'm like, "You ain't got a console." Went, did my research and found this nigga really got a console and then he started doing the interviews and stuff. Well, so, I ain't know nothing about. I that. knew about it before the interviews just because I watch a lot of videos. Yeah. I watch a lot of YouTube too, but I ain't never seen no fucking Soldier Boy console. I ain't never seen no damn Soldier Boy watch. I ain't never seen. No I knew damn. he had the headphones. <clears throat> I didn't know about the watch until. I did my research on the console, and then I seen all this stuff he had, like he had coming out or that came out already. I think we're kind of making. I think we're kind of making the point though, because let's say nobody knew about the console, let's say nobody knew about the watch, but this nigga knew the formula to get everybody talking about it. So even if he said, "Yo, all right, let me do this Gucci hat thing, let me let me do something, right, head headband, whatever," he knew how to get people talking about what he had going on. So all I'm saying is. If that's the dumb, case, he but yeah yeah yeah. Ain't nobody saying he's dumb, but he can't act like he out here acting like he the blueprint of a hip hop artist. Like you can't do that. I think he's more so saying the blueprint for these young niggas doing what they do because he. I think he's saying that he influenced to them the fact that you didn't have to necessarily come in and fit the industry's mold of what an artist should be. He changed that shit altogether, mind you. Cell phones blowing up helped. Ringtones, that whole thing getting big, but he kind of changed the mold of how you could approach hip hop because he did the shit according to him, all independent, made all the money off those ringtones, didn't have to split nothing with a label. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, th who was really people were independent before him, but who really made it that big doing it? Young, and he did it off the really behind him. yeah, yeah, he he and he did it off the ringtones. No, 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 no. He got them popping. It did, but he, but he's the one that made this shit big and made millions off of it. That's where he got his numbers from. Them ringtones. Amen. Jazz. Respect Big Draco. Yeah, it's a fact, yo. Don't interrupt that. Matter of fact, yo, say say thank you, yo. Exactly. <laughs> for that nigga. Yeah, yo. Say thank you for the fact that we on YouTube live right now, yo. Hey, yo, salute to Big Draco for letting us be on YouTube right now. Facts. Word. That nigga act like... That nigga <laughs> act like they gave him a job on YouTube and shit. Like, chill, my guy. That uh, nigga said he... A, he, he, he about to go out there and say he own Google. I don't know, son. Honestly, YouTube should be paying him. That's what I'm saying. Every video that's released. That's what I'm saying. Shut y'all sound It's Big Draco, yo. You gotta respect it. Y'all sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you said he Y'all sound, sound yeah. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube? Nah, you gotta hear that sound bite, yo. That shit when they played that shit that um 
Tell me what's really going on. Oh, yo, he no. stole that shit, yo. Like, what? <laughs> the, like, the sound and everything. And I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, Drake might have to, yo, Drake might have to send that nigga some, some points. Yeah, Drake might have to send Draco some points, yo, off them albums. You might have to. Yeah, he might have to send that nigga some M's, yo. Yo, Drake. Yo, Drake, yo. Yo, 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 the OVO camp, yo, the OVO camp might have to write some checks, yo, that's all I'm saying. I heard that shit, yo. Drake ain't letting that shit happen. S.O.D. They might have to write some checks, yo. Drake was S.O.D. before he was Young Money. I'm saying, yo. Don't disrespect Drake like that. And, yo, you can't lie and tell me he ain't say everybody was signed to him. Look at, he was S.O.D. He was signed. Yeah, he was saying that. He was signed. He was, he was S.O.D. And then they asked, why you let these niggas go? He said, I don't give a fuck about that. They want to go. They can't get no like, Nah, yo, nah. Was that like, shit was gangster. Gangster when they said, yo, why you got the Apple Watch on if you got if you got your own watch? I do what I want. I do what I want. I do what I want. You do what you can. That's a fact. Fuck that. I do what I want, yo. I do what I want. Y'all do what y'all can. That's what he said. That's how you know his product is bullshit. You got Apple Watch on and don't got your own watch on. That's a problem. Nigga said he do what he want, yo. I mean, I don't know. That's true, he can. I don't know. Everybody do what they want to do. Niggas been doing this since they was born. He said his shit so solidified. He ain't got no problem supporting other brands. He ain't a hater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, y'all better put some respect on this nigga name. <laughs> that nigga really was like, put some respect yeah, on my name. Like, yeah. nigga, you stole that. You stole oh, shit. <laughs> 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 you stole that. Right me. But let me ask you this. If, if, in 2019, he got some music coming, and if that shit is dope, you issue an apology? I'm saying, like, you issue in a, a public apology Good. for not putting the proper respect on that man's really name? Have you have to, bro. Right. You got to get on the comfort zone and be like, yo, my fellow Americans, wow, I fucked up. 2018, what I'm saying is, he said he had the biggest comeback. Cool. If, in 2019, he keeps going and he drops a crazy-ass album... You got to get on your shit and be like, my fellow Americans. You got to be like, my fellow Americans, I fucked up. You got to. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that nigga said he here to stay. That's what I'm saying. What they saying about the watch, though? This, I'm watching a review on that shit, man. That shit $20, yo. Is it do it? How do it look? Let me explain something to you. If I ever see you wearing a Soldier Boy watch. Fuck that. Apple Watch is too much money. I got mine stolen. Yo. You got yours, what? You need to cut the camera off forever if you get on one of your videos wearing a Soldier Boy watch. Yo, I'm gonna do a review on the Soldier Watch. It's only $20. Where do you where do you get it from? Oh, you can ship it from Russia, Russia or China. This nigga, yo, what? They got this shit on Wish? Yo, nah. Nah. You can't even go to the store and get it? Nah. That shit look just like an Apple Watch, my nigga. But do it function like it? Look at this shit. It looks just like an Apple Watch. A little smaller. That shit look old as fuck. You could get it without a box or with a box. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. What? Nah, that's what ghetto. That's, less without the box? Nah, that's ghetto. Nah, we can't do that. It don't come with a charger? You could get it without the box or with the box? Yo, look at this. You could get it without the box or with the box? Yeah, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. The system, y'all know what the system is? Nah, what? <laughs> S-O-D-M-G Oh my god What is it? Yo. <laughs> <It's> S-O-D-M-G 
<laughs> hey yo, you got I'm gonna need you to stop laughing at this man, yo. That man, <laughs> yo, respect his hustle. That man's an innovator. Fuck wrong with you. Kanye don't got no watches. Come on, yo. Kanye ain't got headphones. I'm telling you. Game systems. Don't nobody got a game system. Soldier Boy got a phone too. Damn, for real. Yo, I'm saying he might be the next Donald Trump, yo. I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta you gotta issue a public apology, Jed. I'm never doing that. What? <laughs> you might get your YouTube channel pulled down. He got clout over there with YouTube. He got mad clout with YouTube. He was the first artist ever on YouTube. Ever. Like the first. He taught us how to do what we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. He let us know it was okay. <laughs> Soldier Boy did that, so hopefully we won't have to go through that. You should actually shout him out on the comfort zone. Yeah, that should be big for you. You might you might wake up tomorrow. You might wake up tomorrow with fifty thousand subscribers. You know what I mean? <laughs> so big. Yo, he can sign you. Maybe give you a a podcast deal. I mean, he gonna fly you out to L.A. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, shut the fuck up. Y'all got that okay. Y'all do that too. Okay. Yeah, that shit will have nothing to do with my channel. Yeah, but fuck all that, man. Join us tomorrow. Hey, yo, what else we got? Gotta be some other shit going on. so Soulja Boy did not have to come back and shit. Nobody had to be. Back in you don't think so? Mm, musically, though. No. Actually, you know what? Musically, I'm telling ah, you. You know what? what you know what? I, 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 th- I think we looked past something, and I haven't heard anybody talk about it. You know who might have had the biggest comeback for real? Let's not forget Method Man dropped the album, That Meth Lab Season 2. Did drop in 2018. I might have to give it to Meth because I was fucking with that shit. I was fucking with that shit. Now that's a comeback. That's a comeback. I mean, I don't know how the numbers did, but I fuck with the album. Meth can still rap. Word. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. I think everybody looked over that. Well, there we go. Big Draco. With the Gucci headband, big Draco. That Gucci headband, the real ride or die. Yo, before we before we close that out, I don't understand what the what the big. What, so what was the big thing around the headband? Like why, like why was the? Did you see that? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh, that for real? Was, Damn, like, it was like that. Struggling. Out of all seriousness, though, I want a relationship to last that long. You know, I want my next relationship Yo, to that's be strong crazy. like this headband. <laughs> and I went through the struggle because the damn headband got stretch marks and, and wrinkles and shit. Yo, <laughs> that that's head, crazy. Like, seriously, my nigga, that's just like when you get, remember how white tees was big back in the day? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, Galaxy, all that. Do you remember how you knew you had your white teeth Galaxy. Home, where you couldn't even get like the wrinkles out of there? It used to be yellow stains under the arm. That's it for me, though, my nigga. You gotta go get another one. Yeah. You can't keep you. You can't keep wearing these shits like yeah, this. Yeah, that. Like, that headband. That headband look like when you got a pair of Air Forces too long and you got the crease. The crease. Ah, uh, shit. shit. With the soles all worn out and shit. That's what the headband. Uh huh. The bottom start part start turning yellow. Yeah. Damn. That's not clean no more. Yo, that's a shame, yo. Damn. And he don't got no stylist. He ain't got no stylist to tell. Yo, he didn't have no. But how he didn't have no stylist to tell him, like, yo, you can't be going on camera looking like that. He didn't have nobody to. And I wasn't feeling that. What was that? A Versace outfit he had on the green when he oh, was on. Yeah. So he had a Versace outfit on with a Gucci yeah, headband. Gucci, yeah, that, that 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 shit didn't look right to me. Mm. You know, the headband had the biggest comeback in 2018. We, we settled it. I've been said that. 
Like I said, my next relationship. Alright, yo, well, Draco, I don't know what they're talking about, Big Draco. I apologize for niggas not putting enough respect on your name. I I, I don't want no beef. You know what I'm saying? That was the comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you know, I would love to wake up tomorrow with 50,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And nobody could do it but Big Draco. We should try to get him on the show. He's too big for us, yo. He's too big. You know he's gonna have it on. I just want the Gucci headband in the screen like this. Just holding it in the screen. I had it. How you feel being worn all these years? Damn, disrespecting Big Draco. That's fucked up. Yo, son, your channel gonna be finito tomorrow. It ain't. Yeah, you gonna have a whole SOD on your like on your back, like. You gonna sign it to your YouTube tomorrow, and that shit gonna say. <laughs> Big Draco. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's been nice knowing you, comfort zone. Dre, Dre, Dre. <laughs> All right, yo, we gotta stop clowning. So, All right, so <laughs> let's wrap this up. All right, we gonna wrap this up. Soldier Boy did not have the biggest comeback in 2018. Yes, he got a lot of business ventures, but I do not believe that he has the biggest comeback in 2018. Mm. What do you guys think? I would say not musically. He had the biggest comeback as far as like being an entrepreneur. <clears throat> yes, I give him. I, I give Big Draco entrepreneur 2018. And what I need him to do is start telling the truth about these numbers, because he he just he just fucked this up. Because Jay Z said men lie, women lie, but numbers do not lie. Nigga, you lying about these numbers. <laughs> he lying. About these numbers. All right, I'm gonna be all the way real, all jokes aside. Yo, um, I'm all for these young niggas like taking over the game and and trying to take it way, you know, different places that the people that we grew up fucking with wasn't able or didn't have the opportunity to take it. But you know what, real shit, this this whole situation is part of the reason why I feel like real hip hop is so fucked up. Because these niggas are proving that you don't really got to have talent. You don't really got to have nothing to do with the music in order to really get popping. And I feel like that's what's really fucking up the culture now. Like, that's why hip-hop, to me, seems like it's been dead for a minute. Because of shit like this. Like, we'll put more in, we'll get put more attention into this type of shit than a, a, a legend like a Method Man dropping an album. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit that we really should be paying attention to. That, that's the type of shit I can't really... I don't know. As an older head, that's the type of shit I can't really get behind. Oh, and just to go off, like, subject, like, for a minute, yeah. um, I kind of want to invest and get Dame Dash's book. I think it's called, like, Culture Vulture. Oh, yeah, that's a like fact. That. Yeah, yeah, I want to get that in and check that out. It's a couple books. I, I heard it's real good. I heard the way they did it. I'm trying to um, get the audio book. Um, but oh, I just they haven't have got. An audio yeah, because that's because they said the way it's set up is is it's a better listening experience because he has it set up like tracks, like oh, like old school yeah, CDs, like tracks, and like each chapter is like that, and it's got like a music backdrop to it. So I really wanna I wanna check that out. I heard it's really good. What the fuck was that noise? That's our time. We gotta wrap it up. Oh that's shit! That probably that was the washing machine on the dryer. Yeah, the shit is real around here. Don't be trying to like like. Put me out there. Put me on the screen. She's sleep. Yeah, man. So that's pretty much how I feel about it. All right. Well, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Hey, yo, let the people know when we coming with this first round table. Fuck all that, yo. Listen. This was a round table. Damn. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when we're going to come with the first round table because we got to make sure everybody's on the same page. Um, but if you want us to come with another round table, hit that thumbs up. All right, yo, she, she getting button. real quick. Hit that uh, bell. What the cut this shit the fuck so off. Get, get, get a notification to watch. Next video that I put up there, go check these two guys' pages. It's a fact. Uh, and I'm out. Hold on. Let me go. All right, peace and love, people.